back to a brand new vlog. This vlog, this week's vlog, is going to be a little bit different because, as you can probably tell by the title, I wanted to do more of a wellness week, what I eat in a week, come food shopping with me, food shopping haul, that kind of thing. So today is Monday. I'm going to do this Monday through to Friday. And I'm actually doing this video in partnership with Bella Beat. So bellabeat.com is the website. I'll leave a link to it down below. They very kindly got in touch and wanted to send me a new product that they have just recently added to their website, of which I'm yet to even open and set this up. So... I'm excited. So essentially it is a brand that offers smart jewellery which essentially connects to your phone via the app. So I'm actually going to download the app and set all this up. So this is called the Leaf Crystal by Bella Beat, created with Swarovski Crystals. And what this does is it helps you track your wellness activity, your sleep, your stress resistance, your meditations, your yoga sessions anything related to like your wellness is um tracked via the app on your phone using this leaf crystal you can actually wear this um as a bracelet which is how i'm going to be wearing it um, but you can also unattach and wear it as a clip if you don't like wearing jewelry or you can wear it as a necklace sync your body and mind oh my god this is so exciting okay so it comes with an additional strap which is just this, essentially the plain one. So this is what, oh my God, look how pretty that is. Apparently there are over 400 Swarovski crystals used to create this bracelet. The battery on this lasts for uh, quite a while. So it's not one that you have to charge up like competitors, you know, that you have to charge up every night or even once a week. Oh, it vibrates so I think you can even set it up where it vibrates to wake you up as well and there are little screws on the back which is essentially how you switch out the battery as and when you need to I mean it lasts for months so it's not going to be a case of you need to buy batteries every few weeks okay so that is now on my wrist let's download the app I'm assuming the majority of people that purchase this smart jewelry are women and they even have the ability whereby you can track your periods monitor your fertility levels so if you're trying for a baby or your pregnancy as well you can track so um it has like a fertile and ovulation tracker oh my god you can listen to your baby's heartbeat so now that i have the app i essentially i'm going to be setting up my profile so it asks for my birthday which is 4th of january 92 five foot five it's now connecting double tap your leaf to activate it is your leaf now vibrating yes better be you're all set brilliant so what i'm gonna do is track my progress with my bella b over this week monday through to friday and then give you an overview at the end of the week how i get on and if you want to check it out yourself don't forget to check the link in the description box and for now it is Monday. This morning all I've had is some toast and it is 11 o'clock so before long I'm going to head to the shops, do a little food shop, grab some lunch and take you guys with me. Okay this is really poor on my part but I haven't stopped yet and it's now nearly two o'clock. kind of wanted to do my Lidl or Aldi shop first because we have no food in for lunch, essentially. And I've just been editing a video, I've still not finished it, but Tom's on his way back now. He's finishing work early today. So we're gonna go together to do the food shop. So for now, just grab some kind of snack for some <laughs> something before we go shopping. And I've got these in a PR package. They are crunchy pretzels in smoking barbecue. They did a cheesy flavor, which I've already had. A couple of days ago so so yummy so they're only 99 calories per pack oven baked spelt bites so they're not too bad for you definitely not nutrition nutritious enough so we're gonna have a nice hearty meal tonight that tom's cooking for us that'll be actually do a smart water bottle so you can track the amount of water you drink i've just kind of measured this and i try and have like four of these a day i do try and drink quite a lot of water because i find my skin is a lot better when i drink a lot more water so Consciously, I'm trying to make more of an effort to drink more water because on the app, 
um, you have to input your, you don't have to, but you can input the amount of water that you're drinking so you can monitor that. So now I'm gonna carry on editing, have my little snack, and then see you guys when we go to Lidl. Mmm, they are good. There's Lidl. Let's grab a trolley. I was hoping they'd have white pumpkins, but I know Morrison's definitely does, so I might actually go back or go to Morrison's maybe tomorrow. Why do you always put the shopping in this part of the trolley? Oh, what are we having tonight? Spatchcock chicken. With what pasta, did you say? Yeah. Salad. Nice. All the Christmas food. Who likes Turkish Delight? I feel like it's a controversial one. I am not a fan, personally. I think my mum likes it, though. Oh, I do like spiced biscuits, though. These are like biscuits. These are the biscuits we always get, which I literally, oh my god, I love them. Nonetheless, it is only a Monday, so might avoid these today. Oh, they have Halloween donuts. Oh, and look, they have Christmas muffins. Speculos, or oh, if they'd have had a Speculos, I probably would have bought it. That's the lotus flavour. Or chocolate orange. I am tempted for these cute little munchkin pumpkins, but I do feel like a pound each they are. Mm, I wanted like loads in a bowl so it'd end up being quite pricey. I'm, I'm after ginger. Whoa. Tom, look at the size of them. It's going in. This sounds very seasonal. Plum and cinnamon gin liqueur. I actually bet I'd really like that. They've got loads of different flavours if you're a ginger. You can rhubarb and ginger, raspberry, elderflower, pink, grapefruit, pomegranate rose. You a toffee apple or a chocolate apple? Which would you choose? So this is our little shop. The total has come to £36.38. It's not like a typical weekly shop because we have a shop local to us literally walking distance. So top ups or any bits that we need throughout the week, we can just nip over the road and buy. This is for tonight. No, well, yeah, a little bit for tonight. A little bit for tonight. Mushrooms, what have we got them for? Lasagna. Oh, we're having a lasagna? I'm making lasagna, yeah. Roast chicken. For tonight, roast chicken. Yeah. With salad. Yeah. And then we're having lasagna one night, kofta's one night, tom yum soup one night. Chicken tikka. So we've got five meals, Monday through to Friday. They might interchange. We might have leftovers for one and then it okay. fall through to the weekend. Yeah, we've got eggs for the morning for breakfasts as and when Tom is here because then oh, we'll have it at like at midday. With the extra chicken we'll make club sandwiches as well with the Ooh, bacon. Ooh, streaky bacon, nice. So these co these mince meats we get for the cofters, do you combine these two together then? Yes, because lamb is expensive and pork is cheap. Okay, so we have the lamb taste but combined with the pork to make it a bit cheaper. We've got the thigh fillets, we've got this for tonight so we'll put, pop that in the oven soon. Tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, is that for lasagna? Yep. As with some of this fruit and veg, big onions, tomatoes, cucumber, garlic, aubergine. What we've got the aubergine for? Lasagna. Yeah, I thought I put it in there. Nice. Aubergine's my favourite vegetable. Or is it fruit because it's got seeds in it? I guess it's a fruit. A bit like tomatoes. Anyway, moving on. Apples for during the week. Onions, a whole bag full of onions for all sorts of different cooking. We put onion pretty much in everything as we do garlic. And then over here we've got a little hob for, no not hob, cob for breakfast. Breakfast and not sandwich. What's that, when are we having club sandwich? Like one day for lunch? Yeah. Nice. White bread flour for? Making the kofta. Kofta flatbread. I got this which Tom definitely does not approve of because he's a coffee snob but as and when, like in the morning I like a good Nespresso coffee, but during the day, I sometimes, if I want a second or even a third, I like to go in with just an instant coffee. And this one is pumpkin spice flavor, very seasonal. They had loads of different flavors, cookie dough, chocolate orange, burnt toffee or something. They had all sorts. So yeah, picked up that. And then I like these in the morning for breakfast. They're really high in protein. So if you're trying to get some extra protein in, I'm not a big meat eater, so. Um, yeah, 22 grams per yogurt is pretty good. So I get raspberry and strawberry. Mozzarella, Greek yogurts for the kofters. Milk, five decent meals with some leftovers for lunch. Also eggs and 
bread and yogurt for breakfast. £36 for two people is not too bad. There's not many snacks or anything in there because I'm not going to lie, we'll try and eat a little bit healthier during the week. But then Saturdays and Sundays, even sometimes Friday nights, that's really our cheat days. We don't just have one cheat day. Whilst the chicken's in the oven, I've just made myself a hot drink. I'm starving. Like, I find a coffee just fills, fills a void, fills a space, fills a gap. Mm. I'm trying the new pumpkin spice um, one that I've just bought from Lidl. It's actually really good. In my new sweater weather mug, which I got from Sostrine Green. I don't know how you pronounce the brand, but I vlogged all about that last week. We went to the store opening. Anyway, I received three parcels today, so I've just opened them up and thought I would show you the products on camera. Sari Expert, this is a L'Oreal brand, and they have sent me a shampoo and conditioner, a mask, and then this is a multi-purpose spray for colour-treated hair, 10 in 1, so I guess it has loads of different benefits and then l'oreal have also sent another product well l'oreal brand it is actually from vichy and they have sent some products out and also cerave i've never tried this product before so this is a cleanser for normal to dry skin and then also a moisturizer lotion moisturizing lotion and then vichy have sent me a variety of products this one i have actually tried before and already have one so i feel like i might include this in a giveaway i'm thinking maybe a 50k giveaway um and then also the eyes one as well and then there's three i think these are three different masks and then this is a waterproof eye makeup remover. Always handy to have an eye makeup remover. So thank you to Vichy. And then last parcel I received today. Oh my God, I'm so lucky. Fairfax and Faber very kindly reached out to me and wanted to send me an item from their website of which I picked a pair of boots because I feel like autumn, winter season, I live in boots. So to find a good pair of Chelsea boots, which is what I went for in a brown color, which is a bit unusual for me, but you know, I don't think I have any brown boots. But these are chocolate, so they're a very deep brown in like a suede finish. These are beautifully made. They are premium, so they are a higher price point. I would also recommend sizing up as it tells you on the website too as well. So I went for a seven, could have gone for a seven and a half. I have actually tried these ones on already. Repackaged them up. I love the fact that each boot came in its own little duster bag as well. And then we obviously have some salad, which has aubergine, pumpkin seeds, tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce. What are the little, is it mustard? Yeah, mustard. mustard. Oh, lemon in there as well. And our chicken. Good morning. I'm just gonna put all the lights on, it's so dark. I've just got up this morning, we woke up kind of early because Tom had to go to work at like half six-ish. So when he's up, I'm up because I can't, I'm such a light sleeper. Anyone else such a light sleeper? We'll be interested to see how that works, but I'm gonna just pop in my diary now, um, my hours of sleep and grab myself some breakfast this morning and the whole of today is going to be spent at home okay so this morning i'm going to have myself i think i'm going to go raspberry protein yogurt of course i'm going to make myself coffee let's go with i like to just delve in and grab one let's go with that one So this is my lunch. It is now 3.05, no, 1.05 in the afternoon. And I'm having the leftovers of the salad that we made last night with our chicken dinner and a piece of rye bread, two poached eggs, salt and pepper. So I think I'm gonna now catch up on Love Island Australia, which has just been uploaded to ITV Hub and i also have towie to catch up on made in chelsea to catch up on so this afternoon i actually think i'm gonna have a catch-up session whilst rooting through and going through my wardrobe potentially listing things on depop so if you don't already follow me it's fro farrington on depop just search that and you'll find me if there's anything that's not been uploaded that you've seen in the past that you're interested in buying just let me know because 
I might sell it to you guys or I might have it in a pile to upload to Depop but I haven't got around to doing it yet so just let me know and um, yeah I've got washing load on, dishwasher on so that's me for until Tom gets home and our next meal the Lord is home I've got all this washing up to do whilst he nips out for a meeting but just prepping a salad for our dinner. No, 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 no. That's the chapatis I've just made. Woo -woo. So hopefully they'll turn out all right. Um, I had the leftover salad for lunch. It was actually really good. What are we having? Salad this time. Just onion, cucumber, tomato, yeah, like, lettuce. Yeah, like a real Greek. So no we'll, lettuce. We shouldn't really have lettuce, but we might do. Okay, well we'll show you the finished. We also finished... shouldn't really have chapatis, but we're oh. being healthy, don't we? I'll train to me. What we meant to have, flatbread. Yeah, like a pita or a... Yeah, we're trying to be uh, healthy, aren't we? Mixing cultures. I mean, I don't know what they are. I might have just had one with a coffee, but... Tuesday night's dinner, we have lamb koftas. This is just the lamb mince meat, isn't it? No, it's lamb. Lamb and pork, is it? Yeah. Lamb and pork. The salad and Greek yogurt on top with drizzle of olive oil, salt and pepper and these chapatis which I made. Although we said next time we'll probably make more. I think you'll be surprised. I think eyes bigger than your belly. I don't know, they're very thin. Are they very thin? Oh well. Recipe said that they'd make three each but they've obviously only made two. Fairly medium to large sizes ones each. But anyway, we're going to enjoy this now and I'll see you guys in the morning. It's Wednesday morning, which I always remember is bin day. So we've just taken all the bins out. I've actually just gone for a 20, 30 minute jog. Tom's still out on his because he goes much longer distance than me. And I've just got back, got showered, got into my comfies because I'm working from home today. We both are actually. And I'm just going to have this protein yogurt for now. But because Tom is working from home, generally on working home days, um, we'll have like eggs on toast at like 11, 11.30, something like that. So like an early lunch. So even though I've been on a run and everything, this will tie me over until then. And then I've got my coffee on the go, which I don't know why it's taking so long. And we're on. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this this morning before Tom gets back. And I'll see you guys when we next have some food. Just gone 11 11, made a wish. <laughs> and we have our eggs ready. Woo! Look what I've just received, although I'm very upset that this has happened. How frustrating. So, Kiehl's have very, very kindly gifted me this year their advent calendar. I'm such a fan of the Kiehl's products. Okay, here goes. Oh, it's got like a little pop-up in it as well. How adorable. Some of the doors are open. <gasps> Should we just have a sneak peek into that one? It's obviously not transited too well. Oh, shampoo. And then this one's open as well. Oh, conditioner. Oh my God, how funny that I've opened both doors, which happen to be shampoo and conditioner. Ideal of Sweden have sent me their new phone case for my new phone, which finally, because I was going to order one and they reached out to me and said that I could choose one, which was so nice of them. These are by far my favorite cases for iPhones. So this one is obviously for the new model, which I have in gold. So I feel like both of these colors will go really nicely. And they've also given me a magnetic ring mount, which I like to put on the back. And it's kind of like a pop socket type thing, but because it, it's magnetic, you can take it on and off. It doesn't stick to the case, which is handy. So thank you to Ideal of Sweden for sending me these. I've also got back home to a mini club sandwich, which Tom very kindly made for me. So I said to him, he was making himself one, but I popped out and I said, mm, I'll have a tiny little one maybe. And he's made me a little one just to tie us over until dinner. So thank you, Tommy. So we've come to Tom's mum's, hence the three portions. Delicious. So it's lunchtime, excuse the noise of the washer. And we have this pre-made lasagna mix, like ragu, um, made with lamb mince, I think it is, which Tom made. And there's quite a lot there. So we are gonna have lasagna tonight. 
But just for lunch, for like a bite to eat, I'm just going to heat some of this up in a microwave and just have this by itself. I still feel quite full from the dinner last night and then this morning I had a protein yogurt and they always really fill me up. My dressing gown is on for the night. We have dinner almost ready. Tom has prepared oops, a tomato, onion, mozzarella salad for us. I'm just doing some online shopping from I Saw It First. And like our little uh, pumpkin. Oh, it's upside down. Pumpkin tea towel. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Just. <sighs> oh, See, let me do a good one. Let me do a good no, one. No, I don't. See? Look, I've got to clean it all up. Get a bit of elbow grease on that. That's what we'll need. Oh, speaking of which, my Mrs. Hinch book arrived today. My activity journal. I'm so excited. Find the minky. What? <laughs> Oh, never mind. And then this is the bread that we got. It's one of those bake in the oven focaccia type fig and walnut or something. <laughs> We're going on. Midnight Seven adventure. Seven o'clock adventure. <laughs> it's midnight adventure to get some chocolate. Although Tom's saying dark chocolate because he's being healthy. I don't know. I've just had like a massive pasta and loads of bread. So let's F it and not get dark chocolate, let's get milk, or in my case I'd get white. Oh, white Ca chocolate. Listen, Ca chocolate. Cadbury's, I've do done a new caramel, like caramac one. Caramel, I think they call it. Might meet in the middle of Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. Right, I'll get my pu purse. Which is where. We've got to get a Cinderella pumpkin. How pretty are they? Right, oh my god, what are we doing in this aisle? I think we're just going to get some Fox's biscuits. What's funny about that? Expensive? That's good. Oh, I don't want Terry's chocolate orange. That's for Christmas time. No. Yeah, look, let's go around here. This is the aisle that I like. Doesn't look like they've got any of the new caramel. I don't know if I've dreamt that or if that's an actual thing. You know how sometimes you're not sure if you've dreamt it? Cool story, bro. He's so sociable. Anyway, this is incredible. Don't we love this? Yeah, that's the stuff. That is the stuff. Yeah, it's, it's bad for you, Oh, well, so we're getting a whole box of biscuits instead then. Is that what you're going to buy? Yeah. I'll only have some of the dark ones. Dark. You should have this then. Look, it's on offer two pounds. Absolute black with orange. Oh yeah, divine. No. Right, so I'm having that. Those no. Are, uh, you can have the dark chocolate ones. You said small. you want dark chocolate because you're being healthy. And they're small. They're being not. Look at that because they're being normally bigger. I'll ones. have one of those. You're not allowed that. I'll have all the white chocolate ones. Well, hang on a minute. You don't know what the interior. You're is. getting all of that as well. well that's mine for now. Anyway, we're not having it until the weekend. White chocolate, should, you can have that. White chocolate, and you can probably have that. <laughs> What's with the hand? I'll have. You can probably have that. Lighter I want sometimes. milk chocolate f fudge Sunday. I want. Please can I Doesn't have? get. See that? Men's hugs. Yeah. Mugs. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Ricky Jabe? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we've just been watching extras. If you're a Ricky Gervais fan, it's so funny. I'm gonna have a white chocolate sundae or white chocolate shortcake ring. I'm gonna have a super cooper sundae. Super cooper sundae. Okay, I'll have a white chocolate sundae then. You're not gonna have one. Let's not pretend you're only gonna have mm. one. I am. You're definitely not. <laughs> we are at Starbucks. Look at all the pumpkin spices. And they shouldn't be allowed to advertise it if they've not got any in. Cinnamon as well. That's super naughty. No, I know. I'm just going to get some. Oh, I can get my Mac today. Banana bread. When you say I can get my Mac today, do you mean you or me? Me. Do you want anything at all? Uh, no, I'll have an Americana, please. No, actually, a large filter. Starbucks speak to you after having all right, do you have any pumpkin spice syrup? Uh, we don't, unfortunately. Okay. Chance we might Okay, no worries. Can I have a flat white, please? A decaf flat white. Maybe 
And an Americano with no milk. What's that? Filter, please. Oh, sorry, no, forget the Americano. Can I have a filter coffee? Uh, uh, yeah. What no. size? Large one. Uh, they're huge. Well, medium. Medium, and again, no milk for that, sorry. Yeah, no problem. And do you have any banana bread? I'll check for you. It's good here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll have a piece of that, please. Yeah, no problem. Is that That's it, thank you. No worries. Can I make way for the next one? No, you can. Thanks. Check the shop. So voice is going. No, I need to pay for this because I like to get it on my Starbucks card so I get points. What is my phone? Oh no. That would be a big issue. Big issue. <laughs> There's not enough holes, so my flat line will probably fit in there. So, good morning. We're having a quick Starbucks pit stop for the road. I was meant to drop Tom off in Burnley at the station, but the train's cancelled, so he's going to come with me to Manchester. That train is always cancelled. Always. So you get the train from there, and then I'm going to brunch at the Ivy, but it's not until 11, 11.30ish, so hence why I'm just grabbing a bite to eat for, for now. It's quarter past nine. Twenty past nine. Quite many nutritious breakfasts. Well, it's countdown to the weekend now. See, if I was vlogging this vlog over the weekend, you'd probably see some more naughty food. I haven't really been too bad this week. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yesterday was a countdown diet. to the weekend. Denial well. diet, right? <laughs> yeah. But we are gonna. There's three weeks you've set aside for like a real no chocolate, no nothing, even over the weekends, haven't you? November into December. I'm still gonna get my event calendar though. That can be my only chocolate of the day. I can't cut it out altogether like you. Everything you in moderation. No, I, I don't want to. You can, that's right. I don't want to. You don't want to, you don't want to, that's the story. I want to be, I want to eat healthier and be, I try and be strict Monday to Friday. What you're saying is you wanna have your cake and eat it. But it's hard. I would say as a woman, I think nutritionally we need a bit of chocolate. I'm sure that's a fact. I'm sure that will definitely be on the pyramid, yeah. I'm sure we do. We need... Fruit, vegetables, meat, Fruit's carbs, full of sugar though. Chocolate. It's not a food group, is it? I'd rather have a salad and a dessert than a burger and no dessert. Interesting way of looking at it. Hello. Can I pay on my thing? these toilets are oh my god <laughs> it does it smells of like impulse someone's spray sweat oh no <laughs> so we are at this event which we're about to head down to have some food coffee and everything like that in a bit but I just thought I'd give you a quick outfit of the day this trench is from H&M my suit is it's kind of old Zara Primark top I, I'm after some really good body suits like maybe ribbed fabric I don't know nice thick good quality so that's what I'm after if I have time today I'll look but probably won't my coach bag yeah Zara pants I think this place is actually misguided and then Primark strappy mid heel shoes oh, like literally probably I think there was meant to be one more or maybe I just placed one yeah, those are my cellar. Now the formula, we've added some real... So I've gone yeah, for avocado you. Benedict. Yes, thank you. Thank you Yes, please. Yeah, I'm glad I went for this over the pancakes. Mm. I should like some savoury first. 
And then pastries. Yeah. Well, yeah, if I'm on holiday, I'll always. Oh, yeah. And if it's a buffet. Have eggs and then get something. Yeah, always. Like a three, four. I am. Um, okay, I'm now back home and I stopped by Morrison's because because we ate at like 11 ish when we had brunch at the Ivy and I'm not picking Tom up until like 8 ish, so we probably won't eat until late and then. Uh, you know, I'll just have a little bit of whatever we end up making, if I end up even having anything. Um, I decided to pick up a salad that Morrison's do. You can do like a DIY salad thing. And then I also picked up this cute little ghost pumpkin. My little pumpkin stash. Oh, I got some bits, some festive kind of bits for a Christmas clean with me video, which obviously will be coming November, December time. So I'm stocking up early, but I also picked up these caramelized honey lattes. I've been waiting for the seasonal edition gingerbread latte, but I've not seen any this year. So maybe they've stopped doing them. So anyway, I picked up the caramelized honey. Got some fiendish fancies for over the weekend, although these last until 7th of November. So whenever we end up getting through these, I thought I might have one this afternoon with a coffee at some stage. Maybe, we'll see. See if I fancy it or not. And then these are good to just have in the cupboard. They have such like a long life, but you know, as and when you fancy um, a little protein bite or for on the go, like this morning, it would have been ideal to just take one of these with me, but we didn't have any left, so. These are on offer, they're always on offer in Morrison's. So they're about £1.50 in Morrison's, but two fifty pounds usually. I did just want to talk a little bit more about the new addition to my glamorous jewellery collection that I have. I love the fact that this is unique. I've never seen anything like the, the fact that it combines a jewellery with wellness tracker, built-in wellness tracker. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with um, the, with trying out the Leaf Crystal by Bella B, created with the Swarovski crystals, which you can see there. So pretty, so stylish and chic, and yeah, I think they're really, really pretty. I love the fact that um, in the For You section here, we have all the different workouts, and this comes as a Leaf Crystal bundle, which also includes access to the Bella Beat Plus membership, which just essentially through the app allows you access to, I think it's over 400 different uh, types of workouts and beauty related articles, different face yoga, Pilates, body sculpt, home workouts. There's just so many to choose from that um, I just think it's a great, you know, if you don't have a gym membership or you want to do some more workouts from home, it's super easy and, uh, and it's included. So I love that as well. Uh, I have been tracking my sleep pattern, how much water I've been intaking. Uh, I, I have allocated myself, I've set myself goals, two liters of water a day to drink, um, 20 minutes of exercise, which I love the fact that you can, through the app, when you add your activity, you can select a whole host of different activities to add, but one of which is shopping, another is cleaning, which let me tell you, housework is a workout. So I like the fact that you can add that walking as well. So if you go out for a nice long walk or something like that, you can add that on. Zumba, reading, because apparently that burns calories breastfeeding because again that also burns a lot of calories so you can add that onto your activity which i really like and appreciate um it tracks your menstrual cycle as well so if you're particularly wanting to track that maybe you're having irregular patterns and you want to monitor it a bit more maybe you're trying for a baby that is great, it, it's just a perfect accessory if you're looking to improve your overall wellness. So it is definitely something I would recommend. Another thing that I've also targeted myself to do every day is try and fit in 10 minutes of meditation. There also are guided meditation classes that you can listen to should you wish to, or you can just, you know, for 10 minutes, just have a bit of time out, plus meditate. And then they have different ones you can choose from. So say for instance, you want to do seven chakras. It is a 16 minute class. So you can click on that. And it is a guided meditation session that takes you through. Let me just turn up the volume. This balancing meditation will allow you to open your seven chakras so that any negative energy that you have stored could be purified 
and released. Love this. I really, really appreciate this because I I like the idea of meditating and taking time out from social media, but I personally am not very good at switching off without some kind of like a guided session. So I do really like that because I'll sometimes feel myself panic a little bit, get a bit stressed or whatever, and I think just count to 10. Sometimes I can't even get to 10 because my mind's that preoccupied. I then go off and think about something else. So I love that. And I do think a little, even if it's just 10 minutes a day, meditation, just go to your bedroom or find a quiet space, cross your legs, zone out for a minute and just, it helps kind of reset everything. So I love that. So I'm actually gonna sign off the vlog here. Um, it is only five o'clock, but after having the salad and with this, still to go and that is me set for the rest of this evening can watch goggle box chill out get my comfies on and yeah i hope you enjoyed this little different vlog style of a food diary in terms of what i eat during the week thumbs up if you did stay tuned for more by subscribing and hitting that notification bell and i will hope to see you all very soon in my next video bye guys